I'm testing the system to see if this sounds better. Uh, please indicate in the comments below if you like this sound. I won't be able to hear it until it's actually uploaded to YouTube. Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. The U.S.-China Economic and Security Review Commission has now issued an urgent call for analysis to write an unclassified report on China's current industrial and military robotics capability and where they came from. It asks for an investigation into what areas is China already ahead of the United States in the use or development of robotics with military applications. What U.S. or other dual-use robotics technology have likely been acquired by China through technology transfers or cyber penetration, if you know what that means. The Commission also intends to gauge the chances China's automation efforts could eclipse comparable Pentagon in initiatives, including offset a Defense Department research initiative meant to offset technological advances made by adversaries, according to Defense One. Last month, China President Xi Jinping called for improving the strategic planning and combat service support in the country's armed forces, the People's Liberation Army. Chinese military biomorphic robots resembling animals and humans were spotted in a video which found its way to the internet. Russian newspaper Rosyaskava Gazeta reported, Biomorphic robot robotics is a sub-discipline of robotics focused upon emulating the mechanics, sensor systems, computing structures, and methodologies used by animals and humans. In short, it is building robots inspired by the principles of biological systems. One of the most prominent researchers in the field of biomorphic robotics has been Mark W. Tilden, who has taken Rodney Brooks' theory of removing the world's model from robots to a low hardware level, not even using microprocessors. This is not to say the lack of microprocessors something biomorphic. Quite the contrary. There is a huge amount of work to be done implementing biological nervous and neural networks into computing devices. In contrast, M. Anthony Lewis has used the field of biomorphic robots to study how humans and animals use biological inspired principles to negotiate the complexity of the real world. Meaning walking, touching, picking up, hearing, seeing, feeling, smelling. The difference between bio neuromorph and biomorph is believed to be focusing on the control and sensor systems, neuromorphic, nor neuromorphic versus the whole system, biomorph. An excellent example of a biomorphic machine is the robot snake, robot centipede. They can now make a robot snake climb up around a pole all the way up no matter the height, and go wherever the pole leads it to. Go onto a ledge of a window, uh, go onto a roof, go into a, a system, a sewage system, plumbing system, right? Now, I have said time and time again that China is the leader, Japan isn't close behind, and in a very distant far behind is Europe and the United States. The United States is not the leader in robotics. And any attempt to, uh, for the media to uh, implant the idea that universities in the United States or Europe or Australia have come up with something in robotics that is state of the art is not true. It's simply not true. I keep telling you that the culture, the Asian culture, has readily accept robotics in automatons, as they called it before, uh, for centuries. It is a part of their culture, and they readily accept it. On the other hand, the West is the exact opposite. Everyone from Elon Musk on down says that robotics is to be feared. 
We make movies to fear robots. We make m movies as a part of our uh, uh, catastrophe structures, uh, which we enjoy watching over and over and over, uh, no matter what it is. Uh, aliens and robots, they're all going to come and take over. Now, because of that anti-robotic culture that we have, we are then also far behind and hesitant and reticent to actually do robotics. On the other hand, the Asians are quite readily accepting it. And now they have instituted biomorphic robots. So let me tell you what the biomorphic robots can do, besides climb up poles and all that sort of stuff. They can walk. They can do tasks. They can do all sorts of things. They can see. They can sense. They can fix things. They can do everything that you can possibly imagine. Now, let me say this before you... Uh, first of all, if you want me to do fantastic videos, visually stunning for you, please donate to patreon.com slash shikama. One to five dollars each. I know you can afford it, right? And there's 70,000 of you. There should be absolutely no reason why I can't be able to uh, get a nice computer system so that I can then put it into this business and show you exactly what I'm talking about. But however, in researching this particular video, when I tried to go to the uh, Chinese sources, uh, they would not allow me to go to those places. And it didn't matter who I was using. It didn't matter that Google, uh, what is Google, DuckDuckGo, uh, yeah, Microsoft, Yahoo, it doesn't matter. It didn't matter, it didn't matter, it didn't matter. I didn't try to use a VPN because, I mean, that's that's just too much, right? A VPN, uh, if I'm going to use a VPN and they don't want me to actually be there, I believe somebody would be knocking on my door if I used a VPN. Uh, yes, I probably could have gotten in. Yes, I probably could have seen everything that I was trying to see, but there would have been somebody knocking on my door. Hmm? So I was able to see some stuff. And uh, for instance, I carefully was looking at, I still don't know if it was a woman or a robot. It was a part of my, all the load up that I got of, in the research. And then I dug deep and deep and deep and went down, 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 down. I still cannot determine if it was a woman or a robot. That's how close it has become. Um, it wasn't a woman uh, that was anything to look at. You know, it's, she wasn't, well, to me, she wasn't beautiful. Uh, maybe she was beautiful to people who like Asian women. But to me, she wasn't beautiful. She wasn't. So I didn't see the point of why there were pictures of her, right? Normally, beautiful women or people who think women are beautiful take pictures of them, right? So why in my research was a picture of what appeared to be a woman in it that I actually could not tell if it was a woman or not, right? Uh, because the other pictures of quote-unquote robots were there that I had seen before and I knew were actual uh, robots, and they were of what the Chinese had called the most beautiful woman princess, Her Majesty, right? That picture, that, those pictures, if you're familiar with this particular topic, you will know. So, uh, the reason I don't have all of the uh, pictures that you would like to see, now you know why. My stupid computer. But now you know why. Uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, please thumbs up the video. I don't know if anybody's going to come knocking on my door anyway, but thumbs up the video. The thumbing up doesn't mean you like it. It doesn't mean you love me. It doesn't mean you want to marry me. It doesn't mean you, you, it doesn't mean anything like that. No, no, nothing emotional. All it means is engagement. You saw the video, period. Engagement, engagement, engagement. Uh, the, YouTube has a brand new algorithm that I have discovered that now they said that they are trying to silence. They come right out and say it. Uh, conspiracy theory. What is conspiracy theory? 
anything they don't like. Anything they don't like. And what don't they like? They don't like much of anything. There's a whole host of things that they don't like. And they don't like anybody talking about something that the news is talking about. Why? Because the news has paid them millions of dollars and the news doesn't want any competition that's in their contract that they signed with YouTube. That's CBS, NBC, ABC, blah, 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 Fox, all of them. They're all in the same board. You all are the only people who think that there's some sort of difference between Fox and ABC. You all are seriously uh, have been hoodwinked. They all signed the same exact contract, and YouTube signed it with them. So your whole, uh, I'm a social justice warrior, and the far right is this, and the far left is this, you're all been bamboozled, run amok, hoodwinked. So go ahead and please uh, thumbs up the video. Thank you all for watching.